Good morning. It is a beautiful morning this morning. So I'm looking out, although a little cloudy, but it's still a beautiful morning. Every day that I wake up, I feel the same. It's just beautiful to be alive as much as we do have some challenges around the place at the moment. Look, it's just a wonderful place and space to be on Mother Earth. Good morning, Marie. How are you? <laughs> it is. It is. Now, I'm here as Ros Boundy Psychic Medium to present the daily Lenamond card reading. And this morning I do have the Lenamond deck of cards that I've been using for over a year as the um, card deck, as you can, well, you'll see in a minute. I'll be switching it over to that shortly. So just a reminder to those who are on the pages that I have cross-posted this to, which is the Hypnosis Plus with Roz and the MyTimeTV.live. Those two pages, oh, and I think even the card reading group that I've got, those two pages, if you're putting comments in there, it's okay to do that, but I can't see them in the live streaming chat stream that I get in the back of the BeLive platform that I use to actually present this. So I can't put them up like I have done with Marie's morning. Okay. So do pop over. The link for that is up the top in the description on a desktop anyway. I'm not sure where it shows up in a mobile device, but I dare say it's in the description area there too. Somewhere it should be. So hi, Scott. Lovely to see you again. Now, and uh, the scroller I'll turn off now as I go and move around to doing the actual card reading. Now, just on yesterday's that I didn't use this deck and I wanted people to let me know what card deck it is that I was using for the day yesterday. I'm still not going to tell because I think if someone actually gets that this morning and puts it in this morning's, I'll still do a three card free reading for the person that the first person that lets me know what card deck I used yesterday. So, yeah, hi, Holly. Wonderful to see you too. <laughs> and it shows up on my phone twice for my time on your page. Well, I actually find the same thing on the desktop, and I'm wondering why it does show up as two posts. And I'm wondering if it's something that's a Facebook anomaly with regards to BeLive post one, and so does Facebook post one. So you get the double up. Uh, because it's cross-posted. I don't know. Um, it's very interesting that it does annoys the heck out of me because which one do I put a comment in? You know, it's that type of thing. So, yes, I am well and thank you. I love the little hearts there. Are they, what colour are they? Because they're showing up as white here, aren't they? So the Facebook notifications, well, it probably is. So, I mean, that's where I, I it's been doing it for as long as I can uh, remember seeing it from the Be Live, like using B dot Live. I'll try it with. Um, I could try Ecam tomorrow and see if it does do anything different. Schedule my post with Ecam. I'll write that note down. Just hold on a sec. I'll have to because I need notes to remind myself to do things uh, for tomorrow. Yeah, good. Thank you for that. And they were red hearts. Are that wonderful? Red's my favourite colour. So red hearts. Yeah, see, it still shows up as white. Interesting. Facebook. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Now, I'll move around to the actual card reading. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to take the photo this morning because I realised both of my phones were flat. I've got an iPhone and a Samsung, a very old iPhone. Old, old, old. It's just number five. Um, but I do keep it charged to get messages off it. Sometimes I keep it charged. Right, what we have here, this is the Lenamond deck that I'm using. It is the Gilded Reverie, and it will be a hint to what tarot deck I was using yesterday as well. There's something on here that is a hint, probably twice, as to what deck it was. So if you want to have that opportunity to win a three-card reading for yourself, um, find out. Do let me know in the comments what deck I was using for the reading yesterday. Now, what we have in the five card spread 
and uh, oh, you love the green light in the background. Yeah, it's a USB one. I've got a PowerPoint that has little USB connections as well. So I just plug it in and let it go all day. It's sort of like a salt lamp, but it's got the coloured globe function in it. And it is, it's beautiful. And yet they are beautiful cards, these. Uh, oh, you missed yesterday. Well, Holly, if you go back and you watch the replay, uh, I think it was only 10, 15 minutes probably, you'll see that I had different cards. And what I invited people to do was to actually let me know what deck of cards, the first one that put down the correct type of cards I was using. And my hint is, yes, they are a tarot deck. So um, because I did have a couple of other answers there. <laughs> And thank you for oh, for doing these. Oh, I, um, I'm going to put that up because I think that's, whoops, not that one. The scroll <laughs> went, <laughs> went past. It's awesome. And thank you for these, doing these. I just love it. Um, I love sharing this. Uh, and it's, it's just a fun way to connect with people as well as spirit. I find the connection just happens and you get little messages occasionally. Good morning, Karen. Lovely to see you too. So we'll get to the reading. This position, the first position in this spread is the work energy. Here we have the home energy. What we've got up here is unexpected. Here it is your role and in the middle is the outcome. And when you watch yesterday's as a replay too, um, <clears throat> you uh oh what's that message did i put that one up oh yes I did sorry um <laughs> so with these we've got star in that workspace and from yesterday i think it was an ace of swords at, from that tarot deck uh, the start of new ideas was yesterday and here we have a follow-on from that as far as today goes it's reach for the stars it's actually take notice and focus on which is the brightest shiniest star which idea which is which um move forward are you going to take that has been on your mind for a long time that you know you know we've had a process of steps over the last week or two where there has been a cleansing and there is the moving forward now in what's a new idea especially from yesterday and it's still bringing us that message of moving it forward of taking that uh, almost a wish list and actually moving it forward into something that's concrete and actioning it not just to leave it sitting there as far as a wish um, take notice of it which one is the more prominent the the one that you've got more passion to follow and use that as the indication use that as what you're going to follow into and the star in the home energy it's not star we've got the stars and then the sun in the home energies and i really like this one because it actually gives an indication of a time as well with the shadows it's just the one shadow being cast but it gives you a sort of a timeline if i look carefully on it that one is actually between five and six that's what it's showing but it's it's not so much the actual time that it's showing it's more letting that sun uh, that energy of that masculine yang energy the strength of what the sun light is and the warmth of what the sun is it's bringing forward that into the nurturing space of the home because the home is our space to nurture ourselves nurture others create that resting haven of where we can go home to after we've had our work day and for those of us who are in uh, that sort of self-employed business uh, solopreneurship and the rest I mean most of us do work from home so it is finding that balance that you're actually going to be able to have that difference between the the stars you know following the stars and doing doing all of that follow-up actioning and everything there to actually creating the balance that is what you're doing in your home space as well and for yourself it's not just for the work realm okay because i know i know how much time it can take how much it consumes the work mode when you're in that situation and we've got 
the dog here in that unexpected place and we've had dog pop up occasionally and for me that's just indicating it is time to walk the dogs it is time to go out into the fresh air and actually enjoy some time have fun with those around you like um you know the unexpected it, it's just take that opportunity when you can and here we've got the coffin now that's in your role. I think there's probably still some things that are needing to actually be left behind, uh, not left behind. The coffin isn't actually leaving things behind. The coffin in this sort of respect is more um, sending things off into the next package, um, like it's packaging up what isn't needed and burying it, but sending, uh, but with it, sending off in a way that it's ready for the next time, what you need for the next life. And I'm just going to pop this up because, Scott, you've mentioned you're self-employed and, and it, it is a must to find that balance in life and work. Absolutely. And, and I think some of that is at times we get so involved with what we're actually doing in that work realm that we forget that, that not everything within that is as important as we think it is. And there are times where we absolutely do need to actually bury some of those ideas and leave them go not even to package them into the urns and the rest for that next lifetime that next um, cycle of projects that might be coming forward because there are aspects of every project that uh, for some of you that do work in you know, for self and etc that you do need to continue onward into the next one but this potentially is really saying it is your role to be clear about uh, letting things go, burying what isn't needed pretty much. And here in the outcome we've got, here's the, the choices card. It actually is that we have made the choice. By the time we've got to this, we will be making the choice, the decision. Uh, you know, it, it's what is the difference between making a decision and choices? We, to be able to have a decision made, you have the choices given. So it, it really is you choose and decide one way or the other. So the outcome is that you will be making that decision and it will be very clear that decision and, and the whys and, and what it's toward. So letting, yes, letting go of the old habits and especially in regard, to, yes, that is in regard to the coffin. And it also is just in some respect to this outcome card, Holly, because it's, um, you know, once you've actually gone to make that choice, to you've decided and you've made that choice and you're either going one way or the other. As you notice in this um, picture that there is not any bridge between the two so that you can change your mind. It's decided. It's actioned. And that's the outcome. So like we all know, with any decision that we make, there's consequences. And with that outcome, as far as having made the decision, just trust that whatever it is that you're deciding in that, that the result is what you want. Put that forward in the positive aspects, in that positive uh, mindset is the one I was trying to think of. So that is the card spread for the day today using the Gilded Reverie Lenneman deck that's by Sarah Marchetti. So um, there is actually two hints in, in what I've just said there, describing that deck of cards with the Lenneman, that yesterday's cards were not uh, the Lenneman deck, but there is some similarities and it is a tarot deck that I used yesterday. So just have a look. You, it's probably fairly easy to Google and <laughs> I'll just put this one up that letting go that oh yes it's yeah that honestly scares me at times but always try and go with my gut and let go of negativity and that's exactly what needs to be done that letting go the burying the negativity negativity yep thank you that look thank you holly for being here um it is uh sometimes pretty hard to really let go of what is what we feel negative We've had lifetimes in our upbringing, in the situation of where we live, the community we live in, the mores, of, or mores the, the societal expectations of the country we live in even, 
and that style of what even our religions have dictated in that country, societal upbringing type of thing, it, it really does gauge and set for us what those set what those beliefs are and it it can be really scary to go back on a lifetime of beliefs like to just bury some of them even and the way that we even look at our way of working our business setup and all that sort of structure uh, there's many different ways that countries have moved through methods of governing we might not agree with all of them, but there, it's something that even still has any country really got it 100% right. Uh, as we've moved through this coronavirus situation and still moving through it, it's pretty obvious that capitalism and the system that's followed by most Western, Westernised countries with uh, our money creation and the rest, it's not quite what it could be because there's so much emphasis on the money and how things are collapsing and crashing but have they really is money and the, the structure of how we follow it is that really a good thing for the long-term good of a country uh, and people in general in community uh, many years ago it would have been just the the swap what you needed and the bartering system and all of that where cash wasn't cash money you know that sort of currency wasn't even it the currency we had was the results of our labor our harvests and we'd swap what we needed um very interesting um so really what sort of fear have we created for ourselves is what i'm sort of saying there for it holly because i have actually I'm still feeling an excitement for what's coming forward for us, even though there seems to be so much of a negative. We find the silver lining in all the clouds, really. It's just a matter of changing, oh, here, changing our perception a little bit. You know, even as far as, you know, if I change that, you get a slightly different view of what my office is, and only slightly because <laughs> I've got the desk behind. It's given me a bit of limitation there. But, you know, even changing the desk, you see, oh, I've actually got a printer and the two phones charging in the back. It's things you didn't see until we moved. Okay. So thank you very much for being here for this morning's reading. And uh, hopefully it'll be at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And I'll try to remember to do the eCam. So we've got a different, uh, I'll schedule with eCam. Very true. Yes, it is. And, uh, We'll see how it goes. <laughs> it could be some fun. Um, I love using the different technology and trying different things out. So thank you for your patience when I do do that. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. Be the best person that you can be. And namaste for today. Bye for now.